How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the base HTML tag. So the base tag allows you to set the base URL for all your relative links in your HTML document. So as an example, I'm going to use the base tag in order to display an image. So here I have an index.html document as well as a folder for images containing one image, the logo for decode right there. So typically to display this logo on the screen, we'd use an image tag. So we'd say image source equals images forward slash logo dot png in our case. Now I'm going to use a, an alt attribute here. So we'll say alt equals logo just for the alt text and also a width of 200 so it fits on the screen. Just like that. So here we're using a relative link. We're pointing to the images directory forward slash logo dot png. So if we save this, go in the browser and then refresh, we see the image appears on the screen perfectly fine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change this code from images forward slash to simply just logo dot png. Now saving this one and then refreshing, we see we get the logo and we can't find that image because it doesn't exist in the root directory. That's obvious. So to fix this, we're going to use the base tag, keeping this source value just like that. So up here, we're going to define the base tag in the head tag. So we'll say base, then use the href attribute equal to uh, images and then forward slash. We can end that off. And that's all there is to the base tag. Now what this is doing is in the background, basically just uh, virtually, it's inserting this images forward slash in front of all your relative links. So it's getting this and it's pasting it in front of there just like that. So now this should work. So I'll get rid of this and keeping it as logo.png. This shouldn't work technically, but with the base tag, it'll work. So we'll save this, go in the browser and then refresh. We see that it works. So if I right click here and view the, view the page source in Chrome, we see that the source is the same, logo.png, but in the background, the Chrome is adding images forward slash to this, getting the actual image at images forward slash logo.png. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.